Who wants to see my Urpaga collection? Let's go. What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Doing well, that's my new little dance at the end, you know. Um, yeah, this is a, gonna be a shorter video. I hope it's gonna be a shorter video. I plan it's gonna be a shorter video anyway. I don't wanna keep you guys here too long. It's a, a VR or a video response to an amazing channel, uh, Donald Mackerel Gaming. Go check his channel out. It will be tagged in the description of this video in the title. It'll be there somewhere, it'll be there somewhere, okay? He did a great video going through his top five RPGs of all time. I don't know if his hand was doing that, but it might have been. Um, yeah, sorry guys. And I thought, what a great idea for a video. I got the old cogs turning in the old brain. And RPGs uh, are a, it's a genre. I was a little bit late to the party in my gaming life. I didn't really know what they were, okay? And I kind of stumbled across uh, a game, one of the games in this top five list, actually. Um, I, I, I played it, or bought it, didn't know what an RPG was, so I found out kind of the hard way. Um, yeah, but uh, I've kind of dipped my toe in. It's not my favorite genre out there, but it's, um, all of these five games are really, really good. Some of the RPGs I've played have been absolutely fantastic. Okay, so I thought it was such a good idea for um, a video. He asked people to comment in his video, Donald Mackerel Gaming. I thought, nah, I'll do a. It got me thinking. I knew my top three, uh, but it's quite hard then to get to five. It's a hard number to get to five. So um, I thought I'll do a VR. Okay, so here is my VR. <laughs> okay, coming in at number five is The Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt. What a great game. It is an RPG, I've checked, okay? It's like an action RPG. If you've got a PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5, do yourself a favor and play this game if you haven't already. It's massive world, okay? Uh, very detailed, really good combat as well. I love the fact that he's, Geralt's got two swords, depending on which kind of enemy. Uh, you're facing, it tells you which sword you should be using if you're paying attention. Or you can just hack and slash your way through the game uh, as well. Even the side missions in this game are, re are really, really good. Uh, really good fun. Big side quests as well. There's not a lot of, like, a lot of uh, RPGs do fetch quests and they're very similar. No, this, this is uh, a really good story that they're telling, okay? And this is the game that um, CD Projekt Red this is the game they made before that trash cyberpunk, okay? And it is trash. It's not, uh, that's, that's my opinion. I'm sticking by it, okay? So yeah, coming in at number five is The Witcher 3, The Wild Hunt. Okay, now, coming in at number four is, I've got two games here. They're the same game, but two variations of it, is Dragon Quest VIII. Journey of the Cursed King, okay? Now, this is actually my original um, copy that I had from back in the day, all right? So, tell it's extra minty. I bought this brand new. I this I was into my RPGs in the PS2. The PlayStation 2 and the Xbox, for me, was the golden age of RPGs. That's when I discovered what they were, and the GameCube as well, i got to be honest. Uh, they had the best RPGs, in my opinion, which means it's all right, okay? Um, it was something about it. I liked, I really liked the visual style. This game, the graphics as well, and the gameplay, I'll add as well, uh, have aged, this game's aged really, really well. It still holds up today. Uh, I would recommend, though, if you, if you haven't played it and you're going to get into it, I would recommend the Nintendo 3DS version, okay? Only because um, you can save it wherever you want. Because on, on this version, God, it's been years since I played this, mind. Uh, I'm pretty sure on this version, the original version, you've got to go to like a save place, like in the village, in the church, if I remember right. So that's where you save your progress, okay? I can still remember that music 
when you go in the church, you know that little chime it makes when you save the game? <laughs> I got, that's going in my head right now, okay? Um, so yeah, the got to go to churches on that. Uh, but on this, there is um, a, a feature that you can just, uh, not mid-battle, but say you finish your battle, then you can just save anywhere in the game you want, okay? So yeah, that's my recommendation. That's, that's the best, the definitive version of that game are right there, okay? Okay, coming in at number three is Nino Kuni 2. Oh my actual God, I was addicted to this game. I tried playing it, I think I finished it twice. I tried playing it a third time. And oh, I just, I never experience, I wish I could experience playing this game for the first time again, okay? This has got so many, it does everything right. It's not just an RPG, or technically it's a JRPG, okay? Um, it's like base building. Um, it's, it's one of the best RPGs I've ever seen. It's like playing um, in an anime. It's so visually good. The story, all RPGs live and die by their story, don't they? So the story is fantastic as well. Like halfway through... Um, Maybe this is a bit... No, I'll do a light version here. Halfway through, the story takes a complete U-turn. So, oh, I didn't expect that to, to happen. Um, yeah, out, outstanding fun. Nino Kuni 2 is coming in at number three. Now then, big hitters coming up, okay? Number two, my favourite RPG of all time, number two, is Skies of Arcadia Legends on the Nintendo GameCube. It originally came out on the Dreamcast. Uh, this is a, a slightly improved, they've tweaked it. Uh, I think the, because it's got random battles, because it's an old RPG, it had those random battles, and I think it was, they scaled them down on this version compared to the Dreamcast version. But basically, it's pirates. You're playing as a pirate and uh, your ships fly, basically. All the islands and stuff are floating in the air. What's not to love about that? This is actually the second RPG I ever played, okay? Um, absolutely stunning looking game. Where's the remaster? Where's the remake of this? The world needs to experience this game. It's so many good characters. Um, yeah, this story stayed with me, okay? So basically, you are, you leave your little island and for a little mission or something, and then you come back and everything's gone or everyone's been wiped out kind of thing. So it's kind of, you got to get revenge or you're trying to save people. Uh, it's literally straight into the adventure. Then you meet other people along the way. Uh, there's a couple of twists along the story as well. It's fantastic. That's a 10 out of 10 RPG right there. Okay, so that's my number two favorite RPG of all time. Now, number one, this is the first RPG I ever played. Uh, I only bought it because it was a Star Wars game, is Knights of the Old Republic. Okay, outstanding. Okay, I remember buying it. Okay, this is the original version. There's some games, like I got out the game, but there's some games I couldn't sell, okay? There's some games I just can't, couldn't get rid of, you know? Never thought I'd ever be, have the ability to play it again. The Xbox at the time had long gone, but I just had these on my shelf. They stayed, it was like four or five masterpiece games that I just kept in my collection, because uh, I just couldn't part of them, okay? And this is one of them, okay? Uh, I remember coming home on the bus, uh, it was my day off, and um, reading the manual, thinking, oh, great. I was expecting it to be like a hack and slash, um, kind of like a fable kind of gameplay. That's what I was expecting it to be. But then very quickly, I was very confused early on, um, on the first spaceship that you're on where the game starts, what, like how the gameplay works and stuff like that. But once I got it, I was hooked. It's got the best story out of any game I've ever played. We'll talk about plot twist. If you know, you know. And the funny thing with this, I remember this. I, I remember when I was doing my save file, I remember noticing 
God, I've been playing this game for 40 hours. Back then, that was a long time for me, okay? Again, this is the first RPG I ever played. So it took me about 40 to 45 hours to complete it. And the first thing I did when I got, when I'd done the story, was replay it again for another 40 plus hours. So the first playthrough, um, it's kind of, you can be like Jedi or Sith based on your the choices that you make, the people you help, or you can just be a bit of a dick kind of thing. So the first playthrough, I was doing everything nice. I was speaking to everyone nice, helping everyone out, doing the right the right thing. And it was so fun being a Sith, I tell you what. Um, so there's at least 80 hours, if you've never played that game, there's at least 80 hours gameplay right there. If you've got the ability to play this game, uh, I play. I, I got Xbox and Xbox 360. I played on my Xbox 360. I was playing this just before Christmas. I'm gonna get back into this game, guys. Um, yeah, that is the best RPG of all time. Okay, there we go. That is my top five RPGs of all time. Please remember to check out. Um, sorry. I was going on, I did a massive boop. I didn't want to record that. Please remember to go check out Donald Mackerel Gaming, okay? And any other YouTubers out there, tag him in the channel to a VR response to that. And if you haven't got a channel, just comment below. What's your top five RPGs of all time? Because it's a genre I think I want to get back into, you know? Uh, kind of slip, slipping away from it more and more. But um, yeah, I do it after going through through my list okay um there's so many happy memories i've got right there in my hands okay there we go guys thank you very much for watching have a great day love every single one of you love you bye <laughs>